hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? What's going on? It's Plant Based with Nicole. I'm your host, Nicole Roche, also known as Plant Based Nicole Roche on Instagram. How y'all doing today? Today, I am interviewing the owners of the Double Dutch Aerobic Studio, Sean and Michelle Clark. They lost a combined total of 95 pounds on a 60-day juice cleanse. Oh, 60 days of no food. Could you do it? I don't think I could. I don't know. We're going to talk to them about how they did this and how they have inspired so many others to do it with them. Uh, they are touching lives, y'all. Living a healthy lifestyle and helping others get healthy as well through juicing and double dutch aerobics. I cannot wait to talk to them about their juicing experience, traveling the world, teaching double dutch aerobics, and the recent experience on the show, The Amazing Race. You guys, they were on The Amazing Race. How cool is that, right? So... Without further ado, let's bring on Sean and Michelle Clark. Hey, welcome, <laughs> Michelle and Sean, the the the, the famous couple. <laughs> we got, are, got them blew up. <laughs> we're, we're, we're a pretty big deal. We're pretty. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Okay, y'all just touching the nation. Okay, with your double aerobics <laughs> and your juicing and everything, y'all just killing it out there. I love we're trying. Y'all. No, y'all not, y'all not trying. Y'all succeeding, honey. Let me tell you. you <laughs> okay, first of all, y'all just tell tell them briefly what you just said. You missed your flight. Now y'all got to drive home. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, uh, so we missed our, First of all, we got to explain why we look like uh, we're burnt by the sun. We don't usually look like this, okay? <laughs> I don't look burnt. We were, oh, we're oh, very burnt. Yeah. We, uh, we taught double dutch aerobics in St. Croix from Tuesday to Friday. So, and we were outside for the last two days, all day, teaching. I mean, it was amazing. The kids the were kids amazing. amazing. Every amazing single experience. student learns how to jump double dutch in less than a minute, and we taught them tricks. Yes. Then, Friday, we flew into Miami to host the Afro Jump competition on right. Saturday, I which was that. amazing in Miami. And so, we had a flight early Sunday morning. Yep, this morning. This morning. Hmm. I'm not going to say who, but to me, someone left a little later than it's been not true. I wanted to. Not okay? true. Not true. But also, no name. TSA was absolutely ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Um, a number of people missed their flights. Um, however, the people who were there extra, extra early, like I like to be, did make their flights. Two things can exist at once. TSA was horrible. Horrible. And so we are driving instead of flying because they didn't have any more flights for today. We would have had to wait until the next day. That's right. We have three children. Mm. We have to get back to them as soon as we can. But we are enjoying this ride, yes. I would say. It's always and an adventure. It's always an adventure. It's always an adventure. And so here we are, burnt and happy and driving. I love it. When how long is it gonna take you guys to drive? Like where are you driving from and to 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 Atlanta? All right, so we well we're driving from Miami to Atlanta, which yeah. takes about nine hours if you don't stop. Yeah. Ooh. But it'll probably take us about well actually we're about two hours away. So we're 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 not we're not we're not far. You've already been driving. Uh, but yeah, it takes about yeah, it takes about nine, ten hours to get home. But we do this all the time. I would love to have seen y'all faces. And your moods when you got when you found out you was gonna have to drive. Oh, sorry, we shared it all. We shared it. You did? We okay, I need to go back and see that because I'm like, I can't imagine y'all getting upset. Cause y'all the happy. Oh no, we No, we weren't upset. We were maybe annoyed. Oh, okay. No, oh. just yeah, just annoyed. It's just yeah. like what's the point? It's just like this woman was trying to curse them out and I said, Sis, you're wasting your breath. Yeah. Okay. So you cursed them out and what? Sorry, you're still so the same so same situation, right? <laughs> Ain't that same. Same. Exactly. You'll still be here with us. Yeah, so you're gonna be exactly. mad and miss your flight. You you want a double win? You might as well try to smile. Exactly. Might as well. I get you. Well, you guys are now my favorite couple, okay, in the vegan community, in the in the oh. juice vegan community. Yeah, I've been seeing your videos. Oh, can you guys hear me? Okay, I've been seeing Thank your videos. You. Yeah. And um, as you know, you've heard this at least a hundred times in all your interviews. I just love y'all energy. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, it's, it's Thank you very much. It's, it's wait, it's the romantic juicing videos for me, okay? <laughs> y'all be like. <laughs> 
it, it's the <laughs> dancing. It's the him, her holding his head from the back like this. <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, a, lot of things, gave, a lot of things happen after that juicing video. Okay. I'm like, y'all gave a whole new meaning to juicing. Okay. <laughs> I know. That's, that, that's the goal. That is the goal. Get you yeah. The question, do you guys, okay, do you guys have a regular nine to five um, in the day um, or or do you guys do double Dutch aerobics full time? Double Dutch aerobics is full time all day, every day. So we we um, we own a studio out here in Atlanta. Yeah. It's the first and only Double Dutch aerobic studio in the world. Um, we um, teach classes five days a week, but we also do events. We do tons of events, like like now we're coming back from two events that we just did this week. Um, we do a lot of events, and then we certify teachers. Yes, like yoga spin. So. Just to explain what Double Dutch Aerobics is, is a formatted 60-minute workout class. That was our creation. So yes. clearly we didn't create Double Dutch, mm -hmm. but right. we did create that formatted workout class where you can go, no experience necessary, and take a class where you learn aerobics moves in the Double Dutch rope. And it's always led by an instructor. Either ourselves or a certified instructor teaches Double Dutch Aerobics. They come through our 18-hour process to get certified. So they spend a whole weekend with us Fine. and learn how to teach. Yes, we certify instructors. We created the uh, Double Dutch Aerobics so certification. They, so because, they, right, so because what? Because a lot of people don't know how to teach the sport of Double Dutch. They know how to jump, yes. but they don't know how to teach. Right. Those are two different skills. Two different skills. So we are, in fact, we're, we're celebrating our certified instructors this weekend because they rocked out this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, we are the masters of teaching anyone how to teach as well. And so that is Double Dutch Aerobics. So we do events, birthday, everything, name it. We're always working. Yeah. We're always working. And we can work more. Yeah. Okay. You guys are busy. And I think it's so dope. Like, I don't know everybody in the world, but I literally have never heard of Double Dutch Aerobics. Like, I see people double dutching on the streets with they, they homies. And stuff, but are you guys like, is this like a one of a kind thing? Like you guys are the no, we people? created it. So so the we re yeah, so that's the reason right. That's the reason why you've never heard of it before because we created it. So we're the only ones in the world doing it, except for of course our certified instructors yeah. that are teaching around the around the world. But, but yeah. we we created the program. It's literally an eight-step formatted class. So basically, wherever you take a double dutch aerobics class. It'll be the same format everywhere you go. So you know exactly what to expect when you walk in, kind of like a Bikram yoga class where you have 26 postures. Mm -hmm. It's the same concept. It's the eight, it's an eight-step formatted class. The format's the same everywhere you go. And we turned it into a workout. Similar to way boxing, you can take boxing classes now. We and it used to just be boxing. Right. We created double dutch aerobics as a workout class. Right. So you do, right. So you do exercises inside the double dutch rope. Yes. I love that. I mean, and it looks like y'all can burn hella calories in that class. Oh, <laughs> oh you do. Oh, you do. But so, fine. Yeah. So you burn 500 to 700 calories per class. Wow. Some people burn a lot more. It, some people burn a lot more, mm -hmm. but that's on average. That's what you'll burn. And you're smiling through the whole class. Whole you're high-fiving. You, you're reminiscing. <laughs> like, the, the class is literally... It's a blast. It's, it's a it's a blast. And that's how we we no I'm listening. No, I said it looks so fun. It is. And that and we you know we teach at federal prisons around the country too. So um women's women's federal prisons around the country. And you gotta think like a place like a prison, no one wants to be there. It's probably the, it's the most unhappiest place in the world. Right. And when we come in there, we bring so much joy and we so much high energy that they they love it. They have a blast. So That's it's real. It's really dope. And it, it, you know, it becomes you guys are teachers to y'all. This is ministry, okay? Y'all, y'all going into to prisons and and just uh, touching the the world with this. This is this is not just oh we teach robots. This is ministry now, y'all. Y'all touching lives. Y'all helping people get in in uh, good health. You know what I'm saying? Like yes, aerobics. And all that is good for your heart. Y'all helping lots of hearts, okay? Yes. Y'all yes. doing it, and I appreciate that. And I think it's so unique and so like, it's just beautiful. And then the fact that you guys are a couple, 
and doing this together, ministry together. That is, I, I have no words. Drops the mic. I drop the mic. <laughs> I, I'm done. <laughs> I don't have nothing else to say. No. It, it does- yeah, it does, it, it does. It does feel like it. it you know, it's like um, we're it's like we're right into our purpose. Mm-hmm. And you know, the 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 two things work hand in hand. You know, working out, fitness, yeah. and then on the back end yeah. is is healing yourself from the inside out. Yeah. And so it's it's important to us because like we have people come to class, and it's very popular popular joke. You know, the way my knees are set up, I can't. You know, I can't jump that much. And uh, I always say. In the beginning, it was funny until I heard it a thousand times. Mm. Then it started becoming sad, right? And so, and and then knowing that you can actually heal yourself, you know, because you can't have bad knees because of thirty-five, right. or you can't have bad knees because of forty-five. There's there's something wrong. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And then because when, when you start blaming your age, it takes all the blame off of you. Yes. And so that's what we try to teach people too. You know, through juicing, through veganism and eating right that it's what you put in your you system good jumping you don't any age. yeah you don't you don't have to be in pain yeah amen. You, you don't have to be in pain amen to that how old are you guys can i ask if you don't want to share it's okay oh. I, I, i'll share my wife does i don't i don't share my age i'm a lady <laughs> I'm, I'm 46 i'm 46 okay you guys are still young blank, blank, blank. i'm gonna assume she's uh around the age or maybe a li- oh, shoot, shoot. she could be a little younger i don't know but y'all y'all look good okay regardless oh thank you very much look good okay and you you guys are out there with all that energy and and i love it um Okay, so before we, I want to get into the juicing, of course, but I just want to make a okay. comment. No good. Like, okay, y'all, they, okay, so I seen some videos, y'all, <laughs> Campbell, y'all done talk Kiki Palmer, and probably a whole bunch of, uh, what's the lady's name that the talk show that y'all was on? Um, Tamara Hall. Hall. Tamara Hall. Like that, y'all, they be teaching people the double dutch in less than one minute, okay? Guaranteed. Yes. Tessa Campbell. Yes. I, and I- go ahead. No, no, you. Oh, I didn't want to cut you off. Uh, well, well, we we got the opportunity to teach her because we did the um Tom Joyner cruise, mm. which is amazing, by the way. If anybody's thinking about going on a Tom Joyner cruise, go. go. It's literally amazing. So we um we got her in the road. So originally, just just before that, we we produced a show on YouTube called In Less Than a Minute, where we teach random people. How to jump double dutch in less than one minute, that's guaranteed. And the reason why we started doing that was because people didn't believe us. They don't believe us. So I was like, yo, let's just make this into a TV show or like, a, you know, a 60 second, you know, uh, thing on Instagram yeah. where we teach people how to jump in less than a minute. And then we were like, yo, why don't we start doing like a celebrity edition? Because if you see your favorite celebrity in the ropes, you you, you're really going to believe it. And so that's what we started doing. And it's just like things started falling into our laps. Like we did the time joining cruise. We we taught a lot of celebrities on the boat how to jump in less than a minute. And that just helps. That really helps for people to believe. Yeah. It was amazing. We got Tisha jumping in like 10 seconds. Yeah, I know. saw that. I was like, oh, I heard that. I met her before at church when I used to live in LA and she was so nice. So, I, I mean, yeah. You know, I saw her. She had on a dress. Okay, she was doing a, her little double dutch in a dress. I was like, "You go, girl, with her bare feet." You know that happens. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That happens all the time when we <laughs> we 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 pick, we we take out the ropes in random, really random places. Like when people know that we, you know, we teach. I don't care if they what what's, what are y'all wear the Louis Batons and like well what I'm just saying the the ladies like all. It, I don't care how expensive the clothes they or the shoes that they're wearing. It doesn't matter. They kick those things right off and get in the road because they're, they're 10 years old all over again. Yeah. I don't care how rich, how poor you are. When, it, when people see ropes, they get super excited. So that happens. That happens all the time. That's so dope. Do you guys do online classes? Because I'm really sad that I don't live in Atlanta because I would totally be coming to your class if I lived out there. So we have certified instructors in different states that mm-hmm. teach double dutch aerobics classes. No, but we I can't teach it online. <laughs> oh, well, come on. Teachers are amazing. You got to see the reviews. Like, they get well, the well, al- well, well, also, too, so we tour. Every year we go on a tour. So we do 15-city tours, 30-city tours. 
and we we bring we bring the class to you, our, our, to you around the country. So, so just stay tuned. In. Just just stay yeah. tuned, and we we I don't know how many cities we did last year. We were just adding on cities. Um, but this year we we're gonna do another tour. We usually do it spring summer, to the to maybe the beginning of fall. We we tour in in those you know in those months, and then you know you'll you'll get a chance to take it because this- we'll 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 come to you. I love that. I love that. This is so unique to me. I mean, again, I, I don't know if any other people know about, you know, all the people going around the nation doing this, but this is like, you know, new, new to me, all of it, you know? So I just, I'm so intrigued. <laughs> um, no, that's, that's cool. Yeah. You know, before I wanted to talk about the juicing, Michelle, I was like, um, listening to your interview both of you guys but you were talking about how you've been off coffee and I was just like feeling you on that because I'm I this what five months uh nine <laughs> September September look I'm down to the day September 21st okay <laughs> that was the day I gave up coffee and um I just was like oh I could she could I can relate with her you know and how do you feel right. how do you feel are you still off coffee I'm not off of it I'm off of it on a daily basis. Oh, gotcha. Is, so that, I used to have it oh, please. daily. Oh, please. But we're on a road trip now. So I had a cup of coffee. Yeah. But I always have my, I have to go to a Target and get my vegan creamer. <laughs> so literally, um, I, it's not like the must have that it used to be. No. So now it's like a luxury. I'm actually doing a 10 day when we get back. <laughs> I'm doing a 10 day juice cleanse tomorrow <laughs> because I had some big and I ate some inappropriate stuff while we were in St. Croix. Mm-hmm. And so I'm cleansing it out when I get back. Flush it out. So, yeah. Flush it out. Flush it out. Yeah. So how long have you guys been on um, plant based? Since before. Two, 2015. Before my son was born. Okay. Yes. 2015. We started it as a challenge. We were only supposed to do 30 days. We watched this movie called Vegucated. Yes. Mm. And it was about what, like, uh, like four or five New Yorkers, New Yorkers, which is and we're, we're from Brooklyn. We're from Brooklyn, yeah. yeah. And they just, they, you know, pick, you know, four or five random New Yorkers, and they, you know, they they they, did, they educated them. They did a thirty day challenge, and then after we watched the movie, we were like, "Well, why don't we try thirty days?" And then, then we started. All kinds of stuff started happening. I had bad allergies, yeah. really bad allergies, yeah. to the point where it was causing an infection. I will wake up coughing. It was in April. So April in Atlanta, it lit, your car is green. It rains pollen. It's right. insane. Wow. I thought naturally that you people are allergic to spring. Right. Then when you think about it, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you be allergic <laughs> to spring? Right. But anyway, <laughs> during like day three of the of the vegan challenge. Vegan challenge yeah. My allergy issues were gone. Yep. Wow. And I had I, I had knee I had knee problems for 20 years. Hmm. So I thought it was from playing sports. Uh, when I was at you when I was in high school, I grew 10 inches. So my doctor was like, Oh, you know, you grew so fast. That's why your knees are hurting. All of these reasons why my knees are hurting. Maybe about, I don't know, maybe like 10 days into the 30 day um vegan challenge, my knee stopped hurting. I was like, Michelle, my knee stopped hurting. And my knees were bad. Like I couldn't, I couldn't do this long distance drive without, yeah. without stopping. My knees would lock up, and when I would stand up, it would crack. You would hear a cracking when I got up. It was terrible. And then, like ten days in, my knees stopped hurting me, and it hasn't hurt since. Wow. And I thought he just had and, bad knees. You yeah. know, you just like you just, you just like oh. Some people don't. I didn't the, know it was food. Right. The way my knees are set up, you know, those yeah. kind of things, and and it wasn't my. It was it was the food that I was eating, and it changed it literally changed my life because you know we jump every day. Yes. I haven't had a knee issue in what's what's that nine years? Wow, isn't so, it amazing what take food could do? Foods out of your diet can do. Yep. Food is powerful. amazing, and that's what right, and that's why we're trying to tell everybody: food and juicing is. It's like it's changes. like it can literally change your entire life. It's, just, it's the reason why we have children because I suffered from fibroids, mm-hmm. and fibroids were causing me to have miscarriages, and I couldn't hold a pregnancy. So I did two thirty day juice cleanses and a seventeen day water fast. During the seventeen day water fast, I had a fibroid fall out in the toilet. That is true. And I was able to change my options, and then I had. <laughs> 
three kids in four years. Three kids in four. Four years. Ah, won't he do it? Ah, cut your, it? Cut your neighbor. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm shalala my summer. Don't, don't get me started. I'll get my shout out right now. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Seven, 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 but I always like to give credit first to God because he made that juice, okay? That, uh, that, we say that all the time. It's true. Man. It's true. Um, oh, child. Okay, so y'all did a 60-day juice cleanse a few months ago, Ooh. okay? Yes, we did. I mind, y'all, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, you lost uh, Sean 48 and Michelle lost 47. Opposite. It's the opposite. Okay, I knew it was somewhere around there. And combined, that's nine, okay. That's a lot of a lot of shed pounds there. Okay, so it might be, a, and it might be a hundred, but we were at a hotel and we couldn't weigh ourselves. We couldn't weigh ourselves, so oh, we wow. were just like, we'll just stick to the yeah. That's a it lot. Could have been more. That's a lot. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about that. Um, yes. how, how so six? You did it for sixty days. I was about to say how long. That was a dumb question because I already know you did it for sixty no, days. That's good. You had a lot of weight loss. Talk about any other benefits from this juice cleanse that you might have had and any detox you might have had. Well, well okay, so even before that, so th that was actually a good question that you asked before, how, how long did we do it? Because originally we were doing it for 10 days. Was it? Oh. So, right. So it was a 10-day juice cleanse that I didn't even want to do in the first place. Michelle took me the last cleanse I did. He was like, Michelle, I'm never doing a juice cleanse again. I'm, I'm just trying to eat right. I'm never doing it again. Not ever. I was like, not ever. Then we did a 10 day and, and about five days in. So to get through the 10 day, I started watching people, yeah. people who have done, you know, 200 days, 300 days, 100 days, people, who, you know, reverse 365 days. 365 days or 366 hey, 300, people. That's a gear. Yes. yes. We interviewed her during our jump during our during our uh, jump juice ten thousand. Yeah, her name is Sarah. She did it for three hundred and sixty six days because it was a leap year. It was a leap year. So she did three sixty six, and she basically she went from a wheelchair to running a five k. Wow. She okay. had she had twelve different diseases. Right. That's right. Right. She had twelve different diseases. All of them could have killed her. Wow. All Doctors of them. Told her, Go home and prepare. You know. Rest your pretty little head. Just you know, it's time, and just go home and sit. You know. And she did a she did a juice cleanse and mostly fruits, by the way. Mostly fruits. I mean, almost all you know, all fruit, right? All fruit juice and uh, diet, and she cured everything. She has zero problems. We actually interviewed her, so she's she's totally fine. Wow. But, but uh, we were pumping ourselves up watching. Yeah, so we yeah, it was why I was watching these videos, and then I was like, you know, Michelle, because I'm watching people do three hundred days. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on now. I was like, Michelle, let's let's do let's do sixty days. Wow, from ten. And she was like, and then, right, and this was on day five. I don't know what came over me. I don't know what came over me, and I didn't want to do it. So um, I was like, Michelle, let's do sixty, Michelle. Spirit of the juice, Sean. <laughs> It, that's what it was. <laughs> it was because my I was going. It was it was great, and Michelle was like, "Listen, Sean, if we're gonna do sixty, we're gonna do sixty. There's no quitting. There's no quitting. So you can't say we're doing sixty and then say, hey, I don't want to do it anymore. If I'm a do, if we're gonna do this, then that means that's it. Right. Whatever we go through during the sixty is whatever we go through. That and, was my ask. right. And but I was I was gonna do it. Like I I was in. So we did we did the 60 and it's so funny that the 60 day cleanse was the longest cleanse we've ever done, but it was the easiest. 100%. And I don't, I can't even tell you why cuz I like I felt amazing. Like I felt amazing on a juice cleanse. It was like, scary ending it cuz you felt you felt so good. Like my 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 thoughts, my mind was so much clearer. That's what birthed the jump and juice 10,000. Yes. It happened from that, right. right? So, like you, know, so um, in my mind, I was like, "Yo, we could get ten thousand people to do this with us." I don't know why, but I was just like, "I just feel like we could get ten thousand people." Ten thousand, you feel like you get a, ten thousand. So you could share it with the world. It's like you feel so good. You're just like, guys, if if everybody knew, you know, how yes, yes, 
then it will be life changing. Like we all, it's 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 nice doing it for ourselves and it feels good. Yeah. But once you want you want the world to experience the joy that you're experiencing, and so that's why the Jumping Juice Ten Thousand was created to get ten thousand people to do it together, so they feel supported, so they feel mm-hmm. during the ten days we interview somebody every single day that healed themselves from juicing. And the reason we did that is because that's that's what was helping motivate us. So we were like, why not interview these people during the 10 days so it'll be harder for people to quit? If you watch somebody said they did 366, you're going to be like, you know what, day five ain't that bad. You know what I mean? If you're watching someone heal from prostate cancer, you're going to go, oh my God. Yep. How you feel? It's going to help your, you know, it's going to help keep you motivated. That's why we had so many people get through the 10 days. And and it's, and, and like just from the, the responses that we got from people, they, you, you you can hear people's languages starting to change. Yeah. So like people are going to their doctors and they're questioning them. Wow. And they're realizing that they're not, they're, they're not getting the answers that they want. They're getting the answers that the doctor wants to give them. Yeah. And, and it's because of the videos that the, the people that we interviewed yeah. each day and they, they, you know, they heard their stories from what the doctors were telling them. Yeah. And so now they were like, you know, they, they started to peak game. That's what you're saying, bro. They started, <laughs> they started to see, like, oh, snap, they do do that. It's nothing against Dr. Nothing story, at all. But our biggest thing is we want people to be a part of their healing. Yeah. So we don't like that you just depending on the doctor. Yes. This is a two, it's, it's a group effort. We want people to participate. And now they were learning how to participate. In yes. Healing. If you want to heal, don't just ask your doctor put for the pill. Yeah. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? And realizing that you have power. Because the, the pill will only sustain you. Yep. Band- the food. Band-aid. Yes. Right. The, the food and juicing will heal will or heal reverse will, will reverse yeah. all of your symptoms. Yeah. Yep. So. Yep. You're right. Um, I didn't do juicing, but um, last year I did 44 Days Raw and I was dealing that's with- That's good. No, that's good. I was dealing <laughs> something for six months right I could have went everybody else would have just went to the doctor right and I could have did that but I was like all they're gonna do is be like oh let me do an MRI or and and give me a diagnosis and then give me some kind of medicine right the the end result is I need to heal so I was like do I want to go to the doctor for them give me a diagnosis so what if I have a name to it the point is I still need to heal okay so I don't I don't need to know what it is I just need to heal so I was like, eh, forget y'all. I I I respect y'all for what you do, but I don't want your medicine. I don't right. Whatever. So I went raw, and uh, the first couple of weeks, the, the the thing that was happening to me happened, and then it went away and never came back. After six months of dealing with it, so there is power in raw foods and and juicing, y'all. Uh, and and I'm yes. Experience, and they're saying it from experiences. We ain't talking out the side of our necks, okay? No, no we no. have lived, okay. And I have made a video about it on my YouTube channel, talking about it. And I got all emotional and stuff because of what I went through. And um, I just, I just be like, there is power, hello, and foods and juices. Okay, so getting back to y'all, um, <laughs> come back, Nicole. Uh, uh-huh. what about, okay y'all felt good you lost weight you had all these great benefits and stuff did you guys have any detox like um any weird things like rashes or just any you know um hmm. you no know, the first few that? days for me so because i did drink coffee every day like oh yeah yeah consistently the first three days i suffered intensely from headaches and you slept a lot on this one right it did there was a portion where i was just like i had to I just was falling out. Like I had to, mm-hmm. my body was like, Michelle, you need to sleep. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of healing happens during your sleep too. But I had to, I just had to sleep. Like I was literally, my body was exhausted. Yeah. So I don't know if that was a detox, but I slept longer than I sleep. Yes. Much longer than I, and I needed to, I kept passing out. And um, just the headaches, those first three days, the first three days, the headaches, and then it was gone, but it was bad. I was like, I was telling him, I was like, babe, I don't know, because my head was pounding. Was pounding. Girl. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> that detox, that detox is gangster. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have any symptoms. Was on, day, on day two, like, yes, I'm great. I'm I was great. like, I was, I was on cloud nine. I was like, 
for some reason, I was telling Michelle, I was like, I feel one with the earth. Like, <laughs> I felt like, I felt like taking my shoes off and just running through grass and just touch. I was like, I don't, I, I'm not even that person. I am not even that person. But I was like, Michelle, I feel like, why do I feel connected with the earth? I, I can't explain it to you. And more than, and more than physical stuff that happened, it was a lot of spiritual stuff. that Yes. Happened. So I just felt like I was hearing God clearer. Yeah. I used, to, I used to think that Sean was with me for me for this amazing love story and it's like during <laughs> during the juice cans, it was like uh no y'all purpose is together mm -hmm. so it's not that it's not that he's only here for me it's that whatever God has put us here for the mission is together mm -hmm. and so when I realized that I was like oh man it's bigger than your love you know yes. than your relationship y'all are here to serve and to help people. And then when the Jumpin' Juice 10,000 came, it's like it all, it's like all the pieces started to come together and I heard it so clearly. So it wasn't like, what? You know, like, is this? It was so and just, obvious. Right, and you just and just going back to the Jumpin' Juice 10,000, the people that are were juicing with us are people who would never in their lives try juicing. Not ever. Like, we had people like, they, you know, they watched us. They watched us do our 60. Yep. So at first it started like, oh, you know, I would never do that. And then maybe like 10 days into our 60 day juice because they were like, oh. Mm. And then and then 20 days in when they started seeing us lose weight, they go, oh, oh, I'm, I'm like just. And then on the 60, that was it. That was it. So many people are this. This lady, she did it. She did. She did. Um, she she did the 10 day with us. But she continued. She, kept going. she went to sixty. She her, just finished. Her she 60. just she just finished her sixty like two days ago. Yeah. A lot of people who did the Jumbo Juice ten thousand with us, which is only supposed to be ten days, they kept going because they felt so good. They they were scared to stop because they didn't know how they were gonna feel when once they started eating. It was hilarious. So many people stayed on because they had to figure out what they were going to do. And then we partnered with Crystal Shea, so afterwards we sell this raw vegan cookbook. Well, I guess prepare book because you're not cooking anything. Yeah, yeah. But we sell a raw vegan uh, book so that people get recipes and stuff to start eating well after, after the so cleanse. They incorporate it. You know what I mean? They uh, they get a chance to just see. Exactly. Right. That's good. Give them the tools so they could keep on going. Um, that's to... that's the idea. Yes. Yes. Exactly. You don't just be like, hey, drink your juice. And then when it's over, okay, bye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, no. You got to give them the uh, the tools and the the um to be able to equip themselves to continue. I like that. Um, I want you guys to break down Jumping in Juice 10,000, all that it entails and everything about it in a moment. Before you do that, dang, I just forgot what I was about to ask y'all. <laughs> That's okay. No, maybe, we'll wait. Maybe you can come back to me. So go ahead and tell us. I know you guys have mentioned it, but break it down. What is jumping, jumping and juice? Jumping and juice, 10,000. Like jump and the letter N, juice. Jump and juice, 10,000. Yes. Tell so jump and juice, 10,000. Okay. So jump and juice, 10,000 is a 10 day juice cleanse that we do with 10,000 people juicing at the same time. Yeah. How do they how do they become jumping juicers? Sure. So you have to register. Um, it's nine ninety nine to register, and you get your ebook. So it's the ebook guide that guides you through a ten day juice cleanse. We have a Facebook group where you get to share. So there's community. So you get to share what you're going through, what you're juicing, and you get to see other people share. And then during the ten days, we go live every single day with someone who has juiced and it has changed their lives. So, um, yeah, you're not by yourself during that whole time. And, and also, of course, we're so, so social. Yes. Sharing juice recipes and juicing as well. That's all in, in the book. Addition, yeah, in addition to the, the ebook. And so our next one is, and the reason it's jump and juice is because we are double Dutch aerobics. So we want you to jump, hello, yeah. um, and juice. Like and it. so um, the next juice cleanse is April. We do one every season now. So the next one is, is April, April 8th, 8th to the 18th. 18th. It's, it's the so, end sync for me. It's the end sync yeah. of some of your sentences for me, okay? <laughs> I love that. I hear well, that. We, I, 
I saw some of your other videos and interviews and you guys always do that. And I'm like, I love this. Okay. They are so in sync. Well, we're, we're, we're together every day for 15 years. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so that's the jumping juice ten thousand. And 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 in the in the ebook also so there's there's recipes yeah. and then there's like all the questions that we know you're gonna ask. Frequently asked questions. Frequently asked questions they're all in there. Yeah. And then we you know we talk about the difference between a blender and a juicer, what types of juices to buy. Why ten days? Why ten, 10 days? Days. days? And then of course in the in the in the very beginning of the book you have to write down your why, which is very important. Because your why is going to get you through the whole juice cleanse. Yeah. Mm. Do you guys mind sharing? Do you did you guys have a why? And would you mind sharing us what your why was when you started the ten day, even though it turned into sixty? Did you guys have a specific why? Yes. You go. My why is I this year of my life, I want to be the absolute best that I can be. And I know that challenging myself. So even we did, um, so I'm doing 5.30 a.m. workouts. My goal was first just to do 30 days. Now I want to do 100 because I I want to grow. I have three kids. I have goals. And it's just like I have to allow myself to make uncomfortable comfortable. And the way I do that is by constantly challenging myself. So my thing was I've never done 60 days. Of course, naturally, I was a little scared of it. But it's like, so what? You know what I mean? Do it Dive anywhere. into it and prove to myself that I can do anything. Yes. And the best way to build confidence, of course, is to keep promises to yourself. And so I want to make these challenges for myself, build con- because that's just going to help me, you know, show up better in the world. If I make these challenges for myself and I constantly hit the marker, anytime obstacles come towards me, I'm going to be able to, to yeah, get right through them. So my goal is to be the best Michelle I could be, no holding back, going to the max. You know what I mean? I I, I mean, so that was, I love that. Yes, that's awesome. I'm, well, for me, you know, I, I always go back to like my age, right? So, you know, I, I, I started having children at almost 40. And so for me, it's 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 about being around for my family as long as I possibly can. And I know the way to do that is to stay in shape and eat clean. Yeah. And that's, 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 that's my driving force. My, my, my children, my wife are the reasons why I need to be around. I love that. And, oh, that's, that's perfect. Those are some good wives. Now, if mm-hmm. you're almost 40 when you had kids, that means you, your three kids are young. Are they young? Uh, six, yeah. five and two. Six, five and two. Oh, y'all got some little babies. That's what I'm saying. You see why I'm juicing? <laughs> <laughs> and they run, they run around. They run around. See all the energy you can. I don't have any biological kids, but I have a niece and a nephew and two uh, grandkids because of my husband. And uh, yeah. I'm like, child? <laughs> no, it is. It, and that's, yes. And that's the thing. Like, I don't just want to be with my children. I want to have the energy to be, you know, to play with them, to yeah. do to do whatever and so and our children are watching us our kids are vegan as well sure. so even what is phoenix say are you fasting or slowing <laughs> oh. so they, they know what a juice cleanse is they watch us do the lives they, they would go in the lives every night and say good night to everyone they make juices they make juices so they're a part of it and them seeing that is important to me too yes you know what I mean? so they don't grow up with the ailments that we fell into because of right. diet so we're already trying to put them at a head start yeah. on that. There's so many things that they're not going to have to worry about because they're yeah. vegan. That's good. Now. Train up a child in the way that he should grow so when he gets old, he will not depart. I might be saying the scripture a little bit wrong. But uh, I well, no, we, but, but, but we know it, yeah. You know that scripture, I might be saying a little wrong, y'all. I'm not like trying to, what's the word they be saying when you say something wrong, the scripture wrong, they be like, you're, uh, what's that word they say? But you, you guys get what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I understand. Training them up the way you eat. Yeah, y'all know what it is. Yeah, I know. So that that question I had, it came up in my head. It was juicing because you're not eating food. So you're just drinking juices. How did you guys deal with hunger and cravings or did you have it? Or was it satisfying you just from the juice or were y'all hungry? And 
How'd y'all do with that? Oh, well, we were so angry. If we were hungry, we'll be some angry 60 day juice. I know. That's a long that's a long time to be <laughs> mad. Well, the th- oh, okay, no, you go. After day three of the, and this is what we teach you during the 10 day as well. After day three of the juice cleanse, your body goes into fast mode. Mm-hmm. So the body knows how to fast. That's fine. Every religion, you name a religion, fasting is always a part, a of, part of any religion. After day three, your body goes into fast mode. So it's no longer on that cycle of like, what's ha- what am I what am I eating next? So you no longer feel any pangs of hunger at all. Also, you're getting all the nutrients that you need. So it's not like you're just blank. You're getting all the nutrients you need. So your body is not actually hungry. It's actually full off of nutrients. And you start to feel that way. Well, the thing is also, so you're not eating your food, you're drinking it. Yeah. Right. Because, right. So it's the thing is, people get hungry because they're not drinking enough. Mm. In the beginning, when you do a juice cleanse, you, you have to you have to set, change your mindset. Yeah. You have to understand that what you're drinking is what's going to fill you up. Yes. Instead of, you know, you know, you how you eat your food and then you drink something after the, the, the juice is what's going to fill you up. So if you if you if you get hungry during during a juice cleanse, you do the same thing you would do if you were eating. You just drink more juice. Yes. You drink more juice, more water, and you will be fine. And I think that's the best part about the Facebook group because that's such a normal question, yeah. especially for people who haven't fasted before. Logically, that's what you would think. Like I'm gonna be starving like you're crazy. Not, you're not. And literally watching the Facebook group where you you know you see people like oh my god, they're shocked. No, really, guys. They feel like screaming to the whole world. Yeah. No, really. No, I'm not feeling any pangs of hunger. Yeah. And that's why we tell people, if you cheat on the juice cleanse, you usually don't get back on because your body starts that, that mold. Now once so, the like, food. if you bite the grape instead of juicing, like, doing the juice fast, you start the whole thing over. And then, you you know, one of the things Smooth, that... is no smoothies. No, no smoothies. Tea, no tea. No coffee. Only the juice you make through a through a juicer and water, nothing else, no gum, right. nothing else. Wow. And you also find out when you're juicing that a lot of the times you eat is out of habit, out of habit. Yeah. You know, you're not even hungry. You might, you might've been like driving on 95 yeah, and you saw, you, you saw the Waffle House. You're like, you know what? I could use some waffles. And you did see it 900 and, times. You saw it not, right. So that's the thing. It's like, we, we eat out of habit and not because we're actually hungry. Yes. If you're hungry on a juice cleanse, all you have to do is juice some more. You you just got to keep drinking juice and you will be fine. 100%. It works for everybody. The biggest thing you have to do with a juice cleanse is that you may want to eat, but you're like, oh my God, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Why do I want to eat if I'm not hungry? That's the mental game. That's the mental game. That's it. I feel great. Right. Why do I still like, I want something to eat Mm -hmm. because it's mental. We're just used to chewing. That's it. That's really it. That's really it. Um, okay. Two things. I want to give y'all props because y'all mentioned in somebody's interview, I forgot. Y'all st- stuck to the juicing while touring. Now y'all oh, yeah. y'all when people be going on vacations and, and, and going out of town, that's the, the prime time where people be eating out of order. Okay. Let's just keep yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So the yes. fact that y'all stuck to juicing while being away from home, I got to give y'all some kudos and some props on that one. It actually made it easier. Really? Mm-hmm. It actually made, uh-huh. uh-huh. Y'all it actually, just like I said, now mind you, I, I'm not perfect. I, we're on a trip now. We went to St. Lucia. I wasn't juicing, so I ate some things I didn't want to eat or I ate like stuff I don't eat at home. So that's not like, we did have some smoothies, though. Yeah, we did yeah, have some smoothies, smoothies and juices, yeah. We didn't even go crazy, but yeah. the thing is, during a juice cleanse, it's almost like you don't have that thinking. You don't have to think about it. So you're not like, oh, no, what should I eat? Or I can't do, you are juicing. That's it. So it's like your mind is like, I'm on a fast. I have my juice. Done. What else are we doing? Like, you're already you know what you're already in the mode. We did right. a family vacation. Yeah. We did a, yeah. Uh, a tour. We went to how many places? We, we Dallas. We we, we, we literally we were we we literally went away every single weekend in the summer, and we just all we did was we packed our juice with us and we drove. We were doing 
15 hour drives, 12. That's and that's a, the that's, a, a, that's another time too you when you you want to eat on a road trip. Yeah, you want to eat on a road trip. Yeah, no, we had our juices. No, had our juices. we had our juices. I, I bought a cooler. We had all our juices in a cooler and to fly we just went straight to a whole foods because we had to do we did this, another tam- episode of tamarin um while we were juicing yeah and we had to <clears throat> we had to go to the tamarin hall show to new york and we couldn't bring our juicer on the plane so we went straight to whole, whole foods. foods yeah so we drink you know you get on the line the tsa we drank all the juice we came <laughs> right when the moment you gotta throw it out right before you get there we right. drank threw it out only had water on the plane and in the airport and then when we got to New York, we went to Whole Foods. We got the cold press Whole Foods juice, and then that was it. That's, that was all she wrote. That's discipline right there. Kudos. Mm-hmm. To all right, we're gonna bring it to a close so y'all can get back on the road. I just want to mention something that y'all said in a um an interview that resonated with me because <laughs> my my dream is to do my workouts in the morning. Okay. Uh, Michelle, you've been working out at 5 30 a.m. Okay. Yeah. I don't even I don't know what that means. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mentioned if you want to be disciplined, you got to set yourself up to be disciplined. So make make your small changes. Yes. Uh you mentioned something like if you know you want to work out yes. at night, I think you said something like get your gym clothes ready, you know, set them up. Yes, and that's from the habit book. Yes, yeah, that's from the book Atomic Habits. What he says is you want to make your changes two minutes. Hmm. So what that means is, let's say you want to work out every day at 5.30 a.m. The change is the night before. That's putting your sneakers at the door, putting your keys on the thing, putting your workout clothes in the bathroom, wherever you get ready. That's the change you need to make. So it's not going, oh, no, i got to get up at 5.30. The change is the prep. Yeah. Another thing is adding it on to something. So like I say chlorophyll shots every day, right? When I come home, Soon as after I put my key in the door, I connect it to drinking water because I drink water when I get home. So now add the chlorophyll shot to the drinking water, meaning something that you do every day, just add on to it. Let's say you brush your teeth every day at the same time. Add uh, 10 jumping jacks to brushing your teeth every day, meaning attach it to another habit. And that's the two minute change. So if you want to be disciplined, it's also trying to set yourself up to be disciplined Mm -hmm. if you want to juice every monday have your fruit ready every sunday night you know what i mean like yeah set yourself up to try to be to to be disciplined set yourself set your alarm for the week which you could do on your phone you know what i mean that's the two minute change that you can make to help yourself to be disciplined Mm -hmm. that's motivation like a mofo because uh i i'm struggling with that I, I want to do it. I just can't get up extra early, but I'm I'm gonna try to make those small. Ch- I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make that's it. Easy, you know, um, because that's my goal. That's what I want to do. I want to get my workout done and over with. I don't like yes. after work. You know, I'm like I'm right. tired. I'm tired at the end of the day. Right. You know. Yes. But I I I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm doing it. Okay. And that's it. It'll give you more energy. It actually gives you more energy. Mm-hmm. Oddly it enough. does. I've done it like yeah. twice before. I just couldn't keep it up. But I'm I'm gonna do it because I know I could do anything I put my mind to. I know I can. Amen. That's it. Amen. Uh, and lastly, you guys, congratulations to the amazing Grace. Yeah. That's exciting. Um, Very exciting. A little bit about that. I'm looking forward to watching that. I think March. 17th 13th next Wednesday is it one episode or is it like I don't know how I I never watched Amazing Race before how does it once once a week it comes on once a week it's a series it's a series a whole season yeah yeah it's a series season 36 so Mm -hmm. it is so you um it's 13 teams racing around the world for one million dollars so different obstacles so you have to come into place um, each person that's last gets eliminated every week. Oh, and so we can't tell you if we won or if we didn't win, but we are on this season 36 of the Amazing Race, where we are traveling around the world. Around the world, they could throw you anywhere in the world, place different obstacles in front of you. You have to pass them to get to the next space and space until you make it to the end. Um, basically, making it to the mat each episode and you just don't want to come in last each episode if you come in first place 
after all, after the whole thing, you win $1 million. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all kept that on the straight hush, hush. We had oh, to. We, we had to. Million thousand, eighteen hundred million papers. Your family signs papers. Yeah, you can't say. You can't say that. We 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 actually shot it in two thousand and twenty two. Yeah. Wow, really? And it's just now coming out. Yeah. Well, they yeah, they, they switched our they, season. They switched our season. It was supposed to come on last season, but they switched it because they they changed the time. Yes. Mm-hmm. So the Amazing Race used to be sixty minutes. But they made it. Now they made it an hour and thirty minutes. Ninety. So it's ninety minutes now. And so they had already edited hours at sixty minutes. So what they did was skip over hours and just yep. just edited the new season. The, the new season for 90, 90 minutes, and then they re-edited hours. So we had to it. keep it quiet, and that's the first time that ever happened in the history of the Amazing Race. That's right. So my thing is, it must be meant to be. Must be meant to be. I cannot wait to watch it. Y'all make sure y'all, y'all tune in. What what channel? We, huh? What channel? Oh, CBS. CBS. It's, it's on C, CBS or Paramount Paramount Plus, and it comes on at 9.30 p.m. Yeah. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. I can't wait. I cannot wait to see it. I'm going to be so pumped. Um, thank you. Thank y'all. Okay. Y'all. y'all thank no, thank you. And thank you so much for coming on my platform. You guys are a beautiful couple. Keep shining. Keep ministering to people through your uh, ministry of teaching people how to double dutch and juice for their health and just living the healthy yes. best lives. Keep doing what you're doing. You guys are inspiring. Okay. And um, thank you. And hashtag couple goals. <laughs> <laughs> you keep doing what you're doing, sharing. Uh about the health of food and getting people to share about it, it's needed everywhere. Everywhere. We need more. All, we, I, I just said, we're driving all these advertisements for bad food. We need more people like you who are sharing this information yes. with people. Yes. Because we need not it. Not enough people know about it. Not enough people know about Some, it. Sometimes because we're in the community, we think a lot more people know about and veganism and juicing and they, they don't have a clue. They don't have a clue. Right. You know, I'm sure you. I'm sure you hear it all the time. Yeah, I don't. I don't really eat meat. I just eat fish. You eat meat? That's that's me. You know. You eat some with a face. <laughs> right, right. There you go. If it was, if it was breathing, if all it right. blinks or breathes, then you can't eat it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, thank you so much for saying that. Appreciate that. Um, I just like to share the message. You know, I talk about my my experience and my journey, and I definitely love sharing other people's journeys with everyone that, you know, comes across my um, channel or whatever. So thank you so much. Y'all get back on the road. Y'all be safe. You know, have a nice Thank drive. you very much. Y'all have a nice drive back home. And um, you guys make sure you check them out. I will put all their places that you can follow them and check them out. Do you guys have YouTube as well? Yes. Double Dutch Okay. So everything is Double Dutch Aerobics. Okay, I'll put everything in the description. Y'all make sure I check them out. Sign up for their next jumping and ju- jumping jump or jump ing. Jump and juice. Jump, yeah. jump and juice. Jump and juice. You gotta say it. Yeah. Yes, the in juice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jump and juice ten thousand. All right, so y'all can lose a hundred pounds or fifty pounds like they did each. On the- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. God bless you, and I'll see y'all around. Thank and you so bye. much. Thank you. Everybody. Bye. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, up next, you guys can go ahead and hang up. Let me. Up next, you guys, um, I will be interviewing Jillian Berry um, on the 24th. Next two weeks, I'll be taking a break. I'll be interviewing Jillian Berry on the 24th. Um, so y'all make sure you check that out. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, click on the bell so you'll receive the notification. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you comment. Let me know you saw this. And if you were inspired, make sure you check out Sean and Michelle at Double Dutch Aerobics. And I will see you guys next time. God bless.